Getting right into this issue, what you want to do is head over to the Epic Games website and you'll notice it says in the top left, Store, News, FAQ, Help, and Unreal Engine. You want to click on Help. Once you're on Help, it'll redirect you to the Epic Games Help Shift website. Now, you notice how it looks a little different? Well, they just updated it. You click on Fortnite, you want to go all the way down, and it should say Contact Us. Once you click on Contact Us, it'll say Login, and I'm just going to click no I can't log in right now, but you want to log in, and it'll give you that. So here's an example, I fill, filled this out. The thing I put was my Xbox account was recently banned and my Epic Games account has been linked to it. Could you guys please help me link it to another one by any chance? You can put what your issue is and they'll help you resolve it and you wanna just click submit. So what I put was my Epic account has been linked to an Xbox account that is not working and I want to play Fortnite. I'm unable to link to a new Xbox account. Please help me, I've bought so much in Fortnite. A few minutes later, I got a automated response that says this is an automated response and might take longer due to COVID-19. This was April 15th. Fast forward to May 2nd, I get an email from an Epic Games agent by the name of Romeo. He says, I'd like to apologize for the delayed response due to safety measures related to COVID-19. Yep, like, it's fine. Then he says, I'd sent a verification email to the address currently on the Epic Games account you requested a change for. Please follow the instructions in the email, then reply here. And yep, I just clicked the verification thing with the email that my Epic Games was linked to. And it says, thank you, that's it. And then, May 12th, he says, thank you for contacting Epic Games support. My name is Bravo Mike, I'll be the one assisting you. And then he says, thank you for verifying the account. I'm happy to tell you that I removed the restriction that blocked you from changing the console link to your account. Please keep in mind, for security reasons, players can only change the console linked within their accounts once within a 12-month period. So that means if your account gets banned, you're going to have to wait 12 months until you can do this again. And if the account that you're trying to link to a new Xbox or PSN has been sold to you, traded, hacked, or scammed, then Epic will find out right away and they'll just disable your account. But if it's your account and you know it's your account, then Epic knows it's your account and your account won't be disabled. They'll just help you like they helped me here. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I'll make sure to answer all of them. That's it for today. Make sure you subscribe and smash that like button.